to another edition of the Untold Stories of Brooks County Artists here on The People Chronicles. My name is Joe Painter and I'd like to say thank you very much to the uh, Brooks Arts Council and the Pennsylvania Partner for the Arts and the Why You Missing Foundation for making this series possible. We have met some incredible artists and inspirational artists and on those two notes we have with us this afternoon John Rodriguez. How are you? I'm doing very good. Thank you for coming yeah. by. You and okay. I just met recently at an art show. Yes, we did. Yeah. And what was that art show about? Uh, it was about a little bit of everything, I guess. Yep. Uh, we, you know, I had my stuff. Uh, Rohan had his stuff. Uh, Jafet had his stuff here, and you know, we all had a blast. It was great. It was awesome. You know, a lot of people came, and you know, we're very thankful that we could do this here. You know, it was like a so. lot of fun. When did you start painting? Uh, I started painting. Wow, that was in I would say uh, when I was twenty-one. But I started drawing when really? I was yeah. I started drawing when I was uh, like three, three and a half years old. That's what I expected you yeah, to say yeah, about yeah. painting when you were a little kid. Yeah, so I started drawing, started making cards for my mom, hearts and stuff like that. And then mm -hmm. I, I loved it. And I just kept on, you know, coloring them and doing different things. And it, it was awesome. And I just, I just, you know, I had a passion for it, I guess. So, so it's fair to say that your, your is, is a natural talent. Yeah, it's natural. Yeah, my dad uh, actually draws too. And my oh. uncle is a sculptor in Puerto Rico, and he has uh, these elaborate sculptures, and then he explains them, and then he's, you know, he talks about them, and he sells them for $2,000, $3,000, and, you know, he studied with one of the best uh, uh, artists in Puerto Rico, I guess, a recognized artist, and he travels and all that kind of stuff. But my dad never, he never went through with the, the art thing, but he knows how to do things, and he can just draw something from nothing, you know, and that's pretty much it. Well, when we draw, when you take a, mm -hmm. a, a canvas or a piece uh -huh. of paper, aren't we all drawing something from nothing? You start with a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. You've painted these beautiful pictures mm -hmm. behind us. So is acrylic your yeah, medium acrylic, of yeah. choice? Yeah, they're acrylic. Uh, you always do acrylic? No, I do uh, oils, acrylics, pastels. Uh, What's your favorite? I do, uh, paint, uh, I do um, portraits. Like if you want a portrait of yourself or your daughter or whatever, your son, or you, you know, I, I can draw. You know, I can draw you just the way you are, and it's, it's a very nice, professionally made portrait, you know? So, our, first of all, what's your favorite medium? I'd say uh, oils are very fun to work with, okay. and acrylics are very fast drying, and they pretty much, you can, uh, uh, they're, easier to, they're easy to fix to me. Like, if you make a mistake, you can just go over it and put some more paint on top of paint on top of paint. And just that always amazes me when, when you talk about that that's easy to fix mm -hmm. because there's no yeah. erasers. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, that yeah. more tricky. Yeah. So are people, faces, portraits also your favorite? Yeah. Subject? Yeah. yeah. Do you paint mm -hmm. other things? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah, every uh, like day-to-day uh, -day stuff, you know, mm -hmm. uh, things that interest me. Like, uh, I did for a while, I did a lot of uh, Puerto Rico art. Like I did the, what would what would that be? Uh, Puerto Rico art. Uh, we're talking about the Hibarito, the peasant uh, okay. with the guitar and with the straw yeah, hat yeah, and the yeah. horse behind him, and you know, with the so your typical scenes from Puerto the Rican, island. Scenes from the island. Uh, scenes from San Juan. Okay. Uh, you know, like horses, cows, you know, stuff like that. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about this. I call connectism with the dots. You know, everything's interconnected because everything today is like. Uh, connected society you know and I, I want to say something through my paintings about today's connected society and its disconnection but I'm I'm thinking about making Puerto Rico uh, Puerto Rico uh, things you know like uh, themes with the connectism because you know like a cow but in, in this form you know then uh, maybe a garita which is the watchtower in the Morro the, the fortress in Puerto mm -hmm. Rico I know you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about uh, well, that maybe make that but in connectism, you know. And so was this? Where did you get this inspiration? You talked a little bit about it. we're very connected. Yeah, yeah. And yet we're not. We're disconnected. Is yeah. that where the inspiration came to put these lines all across mm -hmm. the portrait? What? What? Where was that? Okay. Moment first of all, it, it started. This whole thing started um, because I'm very much into like the, the stars, like, uh, okay, you know, constellations. and constellations. Yeah. At first I thought about calling it constellationism, but to me it was too long. Oh. It was way too long. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to write this whole long word for, for, uh, you know, so I, I shortened it and I called it, 
uh, connectism, which is simpler and it's more, you know, it's, it's, it it's says easy. a lot. That's actually a very deep yeah, thought yeah. at how we are so hyper connected yet mm. we're not that close. Yeah, yeah, we're not that close enough. So you know, things like Facebook, they're great, but you know, you know, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, all the other things that we mm -hmm. have, you know, mm -hmm. with our gadgets and all that stuff. It, it's just, you know, we're so disconnected nowadays. It's like I remember when I was younger, I used to um, uh, hang out with my with my cousins and my yeah. friends, we used to go out, we used to play ball, we used to do this, we used to do that. And now, you know, kids are like inside their homes, they they don't they don't go outside, they don't, you know, they hardly, you know, like my son, my son, video games, this, that, you know, yeah. Facebook, and I'm like, yeah, you know. So that is a pretty strong statement and certainly an observation that many of us have made, how we are so very hyper-connected um, globally, yet one-on-one -on -one personally, like you and I are talking, mm. not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These paintings are you and your wife. Yeah, me and my wife, yeah. <clears throat> First of all, I think they're beautiful. Thanks. And I've Appreciate met your that. wife, so that yeah, is, yeah, it, yeah. it's really spot on. Mm. You have one out there of... Um, Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yes, and it's, it's the, like you can't miss it. Yeah, it's called the, I call that one the fighter. And it says something about myself and it says something about society too. And it's also in this... this um, Connectism, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How was it for you? I mean, you said you, you would you paint people. Mm -hmm. So if I brought my daughter and said do her portrait, yeah, yeah, would I would do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah. How different or difficult was it for you when you do that and then to do a self-portrait? How difficult is it to yeah. make it? To it's do a, yourself. It's, it's not difficult. No? No, it's not difficult. Did you look in the mirror? Did you have a picture of yourself? No. I just drew myself. That was it. So wow. I just drew myself with the bald head, with the big eyebrows, with the nose, with the lips, tiny lips, you know, and that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so is this an, a vocation or an avocation for you, John? Um, Are you doing it full time? No, this is part time. Okay. Yeah, this is part time. I have a full time job, mm -hmm. you know, that I have to... Uh, you know, today you, you need a full-time job, you know, mm -hmm. but this mm -hmm. I want to do it uh, full-time, you know. I could do this full-time, that would be my dream job right there. So That'd what's be awesome. your advice <clears throat> to somebody who, maybe like yourself, as a mm -hmm. youngster you liked to draw, mm -hmm. you really enjoyed that, and then mm -hmm. you get into painting. Mm -hmm. If somebody's doing that, what's your advice to them to keep going or encourage them? I would say, uh, first of all, if you don't know what you're doing with the art, just go for it anyways. Don't, don't. Really? Yeah, don't, don't think about, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You'll learn as you go. Uh, get some books, go online, go on YouTube, you know. Uh -huh. Figure out the, you know, anything that has to do with, um, you know, spacing, uh, uh, the rules of art, you know, um, balance and all that kind of stuff, all that art lingo, you know. So you can and find just, that all online? Yeah, you can. Nowadays, you can find anything online. You can mm -hmm. educate yourself online if you want. You can speak Chinese if you want. Did yeah. you do that? Did you educate yourself online with your art? I did. I did through books. I did. I went to school. I went to Voltec. Mm -hmm. I uh, took graphic design and commercial art with Mr. Simons. He's probably still there. So, if Mr. Simons, you watching me? Hey, hello. Good job. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, so I I used to draw, and remember, I used to, I I've been drawing for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours throughout my whole lifetime. So it's uh, right, right. you know, so ever since three and a half years old, I've been drawing all that time. So you know, uh, a good artist beats upon their craft constantly, 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 sharpening themselves, becoming better and better, and uh, that's the only way that, you, that you're going to learn. You know, you can learn through a teacher or or master. But if you don't have that availability, you just go for what you have. And what you have is nothing, then go with nothing. You know, just, if you don't have paint, make paint out of something, you know what I mean? So just make it, make it work, you know what I mean? I hear, so, I hear a strong passion from you, John. And yeah, it's yeah, like I have one, a one way or another, I'm gonna make this yeah, work. Yeah, you gotta make it happen. That's what the fighter is all about. The, right. If you uh, look at the Sylvester Stallone picture, it, it's, it's all about, you know, you, uh, Sylvester Stallone started from nothing. Uh, yeah. He yeah. wrote a script for a movie. He didn't know who he was going to get that script to. Uh, and he went through a few, to a few directors at movie places and they said, no, no, we don't want that. We don't want it. Mm -hmm. um, he said, uh, eventually he got it to somebody who uh, was interested in that story. And 
they offered him money for it. They offered him, you know, first it was 10000 then it was 20000 then it was right. 30000 40000 100000 He kept on going up, and he didn't sell it. He didn't give up. So finally he says, you know what? I'm going to make this movie myself. I'm going to do it the way I want to. I'm going to get people who are not that experienced, but that have the passion that I have. And they're going to help me make this movie. And he made the first Rocky movie. And that's how he got to where he is today. And it's uh, interesting, passion and determination mm -hmm. are the two things you're talking about, and it really comes through yeah. in that painting. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot you're sharing here. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you to share one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. Because this is the untold stories of Brooks County mm -hmm. artists. So what is one thing, John, about you that mm -hmm. maybe a lot of people don't know that you might like to share today? Okay. Well, my name is, my nickname is John, but my real name is actually Joan Manuel Rodriguez. Ortiz, which is uh, Joan Manuel Rodriguez. Um, Joan Manuel is from a singer in Puerto Rico. His name was, um, not in Puerto Rico, in, in Puerto Rico, but he was Sp uh, Spain native. His name was Joan Manuel Serrat, and he sang oh. Spanish ballads. And that's what he did. My dad named me, you know, after that, that singer, you know. So it's Joan Names Manuel. are strong, and we assume the personality yeah, yeah. of those names. Mm -hmm. So you've been given an artistic name yeah, yeah. and certainly a talent. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing it with us today. All right. You're Thank welcome. you. Yeah. John Rodriguez. Okay.